We also have a um, report about the traditional authorities, very serious about protecting traditional guidelines and culture. Well, La Republic's move to completely assimilate the peoples of Amazonia and infiltrate their cultures and tradition to suit them has been one of its active strategies in its annihilation agenda. We've seen this in the past and recent times where they installed their peaks in every Amazonian local government area and in them trying to create an education system for both Cameroons, the French and the former British Southern Cameroons, ignoring their disparities after 62 years of side line in Amazonia. Even as far as La Republic desecrated the uh, seat, the stool, the font stool, the seat calling for applications, something that doesn't align with the decade-old traditions of the British Southern Cameroons. But then when it comes to situations like an individual misappropriating some heritage and culture, the case takes a different turn, seemingly easy enough to curve. Then, so traditional authorities are really not happy with a certain Shea Luchon Yov, who seems to be an artist. They gave him a serious warning, telling him he can't wear the special clothes that only Don So royalty could wear. They are standing their grounds and want him to follow their rules. It seems like there have been reports about Yov wearing the traditional attire without permission. The authorities are making it clear that if he doesn't stop, there will be consequences from Gueron. So this is all part of a bigger effort to crack down on the misuse of traditional titles and symbols in the Oku community. Just recently, His Royal Majesty Fornum of Oku went on his official um, Facebook page and gave strong warning against appropriating cultural heritage inappropriately. The ban of Shea Luchon Yuv is a clear message that they are serious about respecting and perceiving traditional guidelines. While some of these traditional authorities might not be actively working to liberate Amazonia from colonial chains, it is at least bright to see them actively protecting the culture and heritage of Amazonia. So when Amazonia gains her independence, her cultural heritage would still be intact.